it's entomorphing time. And I'm off to find the next Jack Terra nest. Ah, what have we here? Whatever that is, it doesn't look safe. Yeah, let's get away from the guy with the giant buzzsaw machine. And it killed him. I'm sure there's a lesson for all of us in that. Anyway, let's go explore some of the caves around here and see where they lead me. Ooh. It's a mutilid. So yeah, whatever this place is, these two guys won't let me in until I become a full-fledged mutilid, which is kind of a humanoid praying mantis. So I guess I'll come back until I've eaten more nectar. Maybe a little higher up this mountain. What's this? Biowarak knew that whatever had been sealed in this chest was deeply involved in the drama playing out across the Isle of Foros. How does my brother know that? A good storyteller learns from many sources and always knows more than those involved. So I guess this is significant. Ah, there's a lever over there. Which allows me to get up to the indentation at the top. Well, there's nothing I can do with that marble chest for now. Onward with the search. And yes, that chest was very significant to my quest, but... It'll be a long time before I do anything with it. I'll go west to the area south of the village strong. Oh, it's a dead spider, and this cave is now open. But seeing that spider, I think I'm gonna wait a moment before I go inside. Just to be on the safe side. Mm -hmm. Well, nothing on this mountain. Just a non functioning transport platform. a bit of a village to the south of here, but I can't get in there yet because there's spider webs, and I can't cross those. But I just saw a cave up here. Huh. Well, well. Now that's one of the shrines of the nobles. The Great Mutrisma? Um, let's just act servile. I don't want to get in a fight just yet, so I'll try to say what they want me to say.
Yeah, let's pick the sensible option. Rispa are the giant mosquitoes that also attacked Hamas Island. More royal jelly. That's what I'm looking for. Uh oh, that's not good news. Now, another little glitch happens here, because normally I wouldn't be able to pick up these Muka statues. The noble standing there would be telling me uh, to leave those alone. Anyway, I have a feeling I'm headed for a boss fight, so I'd best get my spells ready. Uh, let's see... Mm -hmm. Light healing... I'm gonna, I'm gonna use that Acid Bolt spell that I found in the Phenorbit Hive. Get some armor ready. Yeah. And save my game. Okay, let's cast the armor. And then get a healing spell at the ready. Just for emergencies. Oh boy. Welcome to my shrine. It is such an honor to have you as a visitor. Shrine! This is not shrine! It is a banquet room and I shall suck you dry of blood for my first course! It is not often that anyone comes to pay homage, especially not a specimen as fine as yourself. My protectors are all whom I see. Protectors! They are my jailers and this my cell! You are an agent of them! Pay no heed, I mean you no harm. Come and talk with me. Wait! What if you are an agent of my enemy? It deserves death for what it has done! But I am sure that you do not know that evil one, so come and bow before me. Yeah. Crazy. It doesn't really matter much what I tell her. On account of the crazy part. But look up there, pile of royal jelly. Uh oh. Four. What? Um. Whatever. Time travel. Ah. Oh, thanks for that. Oh boy, here we go. Let's get out of her way since she's since she likes to zip around the room and make some minced meat out of her followers. Staying in the center of the room is definitely suicide. Notice how she flies back and forth. All right, let's swat this fly. I'm really unlucky the game glitches out here and she tosses so many spells at me that I just instantly die. Hopefully that doesn't happen. Covered by the blood of his deranged foe, Squire Warrock stood victorious. But the sharp pain served as a reminder of the strange gift he now bore. I think I actually forgot to use my acid bolt spell, but uh, oh well, worked out. 
Now let's get that jelly. Ugh. And there go my pants. Squire Warwick nervously ingested the powerful substance. Once again his blood boiled. He screamed in agony as his bones split apart into fragments and reformed into hideous new shapes. More of his flesh was replaced by hard shell, and again his might increased tenfold. This is too dangerous. It can't continue. Apparently, this quest demands such sacrifice. Yeah. Well, I'm stronger again. My natural armor has gotten stronger. My spit range and damage have increased. So, all in all, I think I came out the winner. Do a quick game save and let's try and get out of here. Huh. Well. Ah, there we go. And there's some more human followers. They don't stand a chance against me now. Oh, the poor guys were playing poker. Boy touching the plates in the Northern Hall. Okay. Ball poison and a spell of haste. Yeah. Well, they should come in handy. Not sure what to do with that ball of poison at the moment. And I've got that Mutrisba's egg is still in my shoulder. This looks tricky. There's a pressure plate over here. Maybe I can drag the rock over it. Or maybe I shouldn't, since that seems to raise some of the spikes. I'll just have to time this. Jar of nectar. Uh, pulling that lever. Ah, it stopped the blocks. So I guess now I push the rock onto the tile. That opens the way on the bottom. And I think I'm gonna need my haste spell here. too bad. Oh, and here's come lots of really quick mosquitoes. I'm not sure if the game glitched here or if the blue variants are faster. They seem to be slightly tougher than the red ones. I came through this wall and I picked up a mana potion here. I'll just go around so I can pass through this wall because there's still a Mooka statue to pick up. Nice. Ah, poison gas clouds. And just brush through it and get poison. I got my cure poison spell for that. Fortunately, I don't have the mana to use it, but I'll just tough it out. Hmm. Eh, 
Yeah, screw it. I'll just run through them again. Oh, looks like you missed me. Oh. These floor tiles look very much like pressure plates, so I'll try to avoid them. Ah. Now what's this? Orange munchers, or I guess gold munchers would be more appropriate. They're a little stronger than red munchers, but... By now, they're really no danger to me. Shadowed Cross. Hardwater Ray Stone. Okay, whatever. I'll take that with me. Can't quite pass through the wall here yet. Maybe I'll need to pull that lever to the side. Now over here I'm gonna heal up, because I expect that I'll soon have to fight the nobles at the entrance of the shrine. But the game glitches out again. For a bit here where I try out the transport pad and find out it just leads me to halfway back into the shrine. So yeah, similar to how the game glitched out a bit when I picked up the Muka statues at the beginning, the nobles would normally be attacking me since I killed their queen. But now they don't. Even if I try to attack them, they won't engage me. Oh, well, there's no reward for fighting them, and they are pretty good at using their spells. gonna go and see what has happened to the outside world while I transformed. Squire Warwick gazed around in horror at the devastation of the landscape. It seemed that whole trees had been uprooted and huge areas of undergrowth eaten. Our hero knew that he must stop this destruction before the island was stripped of life. Of life, he meant to say. See you next video.